could do that could actually be a job. That was that would seem insane to me. I realized I wanted to originally be an animator, work in animation pretty young. And you know, I was going to art school and my mother was like, well, make sure they have courses in art therapy or, you know, something that didn't involve me actually drawing. Mm. And, you know, it's a legitimate concern when you're not a dude and you have to make a living. You have to have a certain level of outside confidence to think you could be a television comedy writer and support yourself and not be concerned. But there are many more women coming up as artists now than there were of my generation. Which is so bizarre because in the early days, so many of the animators were, in fact, They were, yeah. In the earliest days of animation. Animation in terms of it being sort of a viable market, has ebbed and flowed a lot over the years. And during those times, it was, you know, the glory days. Then it was like the desert for a couple generations. And right now, there's a ton of work and a lot of opportunities for anybody. 